Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Apps. I'm Menti, and this is episode one of the Battleship Brawls, season eight tournament. I almost said six. That would not be correct. Season eight. In this episode, we've got Undertaker by Vanhar. Going up against the Salt and Pepper by a Wellner. And as you can see, the timer says nine minutes and 59 seconds. I can't get it to not say 9 minutes and 59 seconds. It's set to 5 minutes. At least I think it is. I know well, I know I fixed it. For, let me double check. Rules. Yeah, see, it's set to 5 minutes. But it says 10. And it, instead of counting down from 5 minutes to 0, it counts down from 10 minutes to 5. Yeah, it's really weird. I couldn't figure out how to get it to not do that or, you know, do it right. So we're just going to have to deal with that. So yeah, anyway, let's get this battle underway. So there goes Undertaker moving off at heavy speeds. And uh, for those of you who guessed over rain but in reverse, you are absolutely correct. It fires the shells under the ship and then jets the fragments upwards into the bottom. Collision! Yes, this this tournament has five minute rounds, Cestus Invictus. And despite that speed, Salt and Pepper still land and hits. And Undertaker took the worst of that ram. Did any of the guns get destroyed? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Salt and Pepper are getting some DQ time. Undertaker can turn really well. Oh, I forgot to do the prediction. Right. Well, it's a little late now. Sorry. We'll have to. Do, I'll make sure to remember that in the future. It's been so long, I forgot to do it. No, the DQ counter is still 30. Cessus Invictus. It's like it. Same as it was in the previous one. Yep, two collisions already. Why are you turning away? You should be turning in. That you're going to get more DQ time if you don't start turning. <laughs> there we go. So far, pretty even match. 87% for Undertaker, 85% for Salt and Pepper. Yeah, Vanhar's thinking here was, ooh, almost more another ram. But Vanhar's thinking here was doing that. Shooting at the bottom of the ship, since the main guns have to be on the center line. Just aim for the center of the ship. You know, the center line of the ship. And dump frags into the, uh, the lightly armored underside. With bread, with bread magic. Another minor collision there. It's also kind of funny to see all the, the fragments shooting up from underneath the ship. Baker's trying to poison us. Yeah, pretty much. I absolutely skipped the bottom armor. Yep. 
That's what Vanhar was banking on. No, it's not intentional ramming, Sean Reed. It's it's doing a circle and then crashing. It's just driving in a circle and they happen to collide. And Noah Wellner, they fixed that, thank God. Ramming used to grind the game to a halt, but they managed to fix that. You know, if Salt and Pepper just turned away. It might be able to DQ Undertaker. Oh yeah, no, there. It does have like uh, pointy bits on the front, but those are offsets. Those aren't wedges or rams and triangle corners too. I think those are rubber. <laughs> but we're running out of time here. That's the end of the round one. So, round one score, Undertaker got 78.3, Salt and Pepper got 69.2, so very close. Honestly. Let's go ahead and get round two underway. Like, that's only a 9.1 point difference. Round two, fight! Salt and Pepper lands a minor hit to the rear. Is there going to be another collision right at the start? Yes, indeed. Oh, but it hit the rubber. Oh, and then it hit the things holding on the rubber. <laughs> Oof. Undertaker definitely took the worst of that. Uh-oh. Undertaker... seems to be having a little trouble turning now, because it looks like it may have lost some rudders and such, yeah. Salt and Pepper is getting more DQ time, though. Wait, never mind, Undertaker's turning just fine. It looked like it was having trouble but at first, but no, it's it's fine. We gonna have another collision? Yep. Uh oh. That's bad for the Undertaker. It does not want to be stuck there. That will let the salt and pepper land hits on it. Yeah, those rams are doing way more damage to the Undertaker than they are to the Salt and Pepper. Oh, it looks like one of the guns may have gotten taken out. Oh, they're both gaining DQ time again. Salt and Pepper needs to turn in. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! <laughs> At 29 points, it gets itself turned or the distance got closed. That's almost a DQ. If it does that again, it will DQ. Just keep, just follow it, Salt and Pepper. That's all you have to do. Like, you could easily be turning right now to avoid getting DQ'd. 
because if you if it gets out of range and you're not moving towards it, you're done. Oh, Undertaker's getting DQ now. Up to 23. Yeah, the damage in the front probably is creating drag. That's a good point. Oh, I think salt and pepper sank. It got too low, and it ticked up on the DQ and exploded. It, its bow was dipping quite far down at the end there. That is two of three, yeah. That's a shame, because Salt and Pepper was leading that. And then it, it drowned. Yeah, all it had to do was not get DQ'd, and it would have won that round, but DQ it got, so here we go on to round three. Yeah, I, got, I recorded the HP, 68.8 to zero. No tasty cookie. My 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 throat cannot handle. Another fight. I've been doing this for almost 2 hours now. I could use a break. <laughs> And here we go, here's that first collision. Cat really wants attention, he keeps jumping up on my desk. Oh, Undertaker took a lot of damage in that ram. Did it lose did it lose a gun? I think it may have. I think one may have been Yeah, it definitely did. Okay, a Feed the Fuzzy Ones has been purchased. So, there you go. I'm going to have to make sure I put those treats away in the cupboard, because he will he will definitely jump on my desk searching for those. Oh yeah, more DQ. Ooh. I mean, honestly, Undertaker's kind of doing this to itself. Salt and Pepper is mostly just sailing in a straight line, and then Undertaker runs into it. Why are you turning away? <laughs> oh! Oh! What's going on with Undertaker? It, it did a little zigzag. Yep, there's the DQ. Undertaker has made the turn. Salt and Pepper's trying. But I think Undertaker closed the distance enough to end the DQ clock. Yeah, it's, it's looking like... Oh no, there's not much under side armor. Um, under those guns. The, the cloud of distraction crams. No DQ time on that pass. 
Oh, a couple of hits landed on the Undertaker. How fast is it going right now? Uh, I don't know if I can see current speed. Oh yeah, there it was. It was 82 meters per second. I saw it just before I closed the thing. Yeah, the problem is because it, it Undertaker. Ooh, Salt and Pepper just got up to 25 DQ points. The problem with Undertaker is like the shells are because there's so much turning because they're far apart. The shells are not detonating directly under the ship. A lot of times they're detonating past the ship. Ooh, but that, I mean, when it gets close, though, it works. Undertaker's like, I'm tired of running into this thing. I'm hurting myself too much. <laughs> no, it's probably just steering damage. We're down to the last few seconds, though. And that's it. 66 to 73.4. So that's a combat score of 71 to 47.5 because of that, uh, that DQ in round two on the salt and pepper. <laughs> But it was an interesting first battle. And we'll see. Uh, it is entirely possible for Salt and Pepper to come back on the votes. So we'll have to see what happens. For now, though, that will be the end of the episode and of the stream, folks. So I, I really need to stop. My throat is kind of hurting. So... Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.